Hello YouTube, hello the Silver Forum. Today I'm conserving two proof sovereigns. Um, you're gonna give you a look before and after. You've got to be careful handling proofs. Got another 1979. Very typical sort of fog in greasy fields. There may be, yeah, there's a slight hairline between the two horse's legs. And again, the, the fields are not the worst of sin, but it's uh, relatively foggy. And we have a 1980. This has also got a couple of copper spots, almost at three o'clock there. And there is another one on there. Uh, just a, a very slight one above the horse's hoof, almost, almost close to three o'clock. And again, it's quite greasy and foggy, as I would describe it. Yeah, the obverse is very foggy. So this is the before, and we'll have a look at the after to see if we've made much difference. So this is the 1980. Uh, it's gone through the first process now. Fields are quite a bit brighter. The obverse is better, but it's still a little bit smoky. Just a small section B, not almost behind the shoulders there. I will give this another go. But quite a decent improvement on the first step. I will have a look to see if, if I can gently remove the copper spots, can't promise anything with that. So, we'll have a look in a second. So this is the final result. The 1980 looks a lot better. There's still one or two little spots on there, which I'm going to uh, just blast off with the air compressor, just so we can get a little, the old, little flake off there, but overall, it's looking a much prouder coin, this one. And that's the obverse, so a huge difference from the start from the finish. I'm not gonna over big these up because you know they still have got the odd mark or blemish on there, which there's nothing you can really do about. Uh, you can't do anything with the odd hairline scratch as well, but overall that looks a, a much nicer coin. Uh, both of these are going for grading. Uh, I've spoken to the gentleman um, in question. I've given him an idea of what I think these will grade at. And again, you can just have a look at the uh, 79. As a whole, the much nicer coins now. Uh, so hopefully when these get back from grading, I'll speak to the gentleman in question and hopefully I can show you these, these coins being slapped. Um, and most definitely you can remove copper spots or some people call them red spots from a gold proof coin without taking the Brillo pad to it. I'm not saying don't take a Brillo pad to it, but you know what I mean? You, you don't have to be too abrasive with anything if, you, if you've got the right techniques. So I'm pretty, I'm proud of that actually. Uh, this, this one's taken me seven attempts uh, sometimes you can end up chasing the results because you can end up with a bit like a tiny bit of flake on it, uh, and uh, so I've had a I've had a good few goals that uh, 1980, and again the 79 is reasonable. Uh, it's uh, it's quite nice, but the star of the show today is that one. So thanks for watching. I'll see you again. Ta-da.